One of the most common problems in these split top units, for those that's unfamiliar, those are the ones that you can take apart of the knuckle and change different attachment, is the shaft coming out. The principle is the same on all of these echo split units, but part numbers vary from different shafts. So let's go over there and I'll show you what, what happens and why that shaft comes out. So what we're gonna be concentrating on is this knuckle. Some of you that have these, you'll notice that play. But in, in this case, what you'll find a lot of times is that when you change your attachments, the shaft gets stuck on your other piece and just comes out freely. So that's what we're gonna use these pieces to repair. I'm gonna show you today how to do that and what causes that. You cannot get by by just replacing one or the other when this happens. You have to have both the pieces. So first thing we're gonna do is remove this and I'll show you what happens. First, we're gonna go ahead and pull the shaft out and I'll give you a comparison. This is a new shaft. What you're gonna be looking at is that shoulder. This is the existing damaged shaft. You notice how that shoulder's worn away and gone? When I show you this coupling in a minute, how it goes together, it'll make a little better sense, but this shaft is not reusable. So the first thing we need to do is remove this from the unit. We're gonna loosen this screw. And then we're also gonna loosen this set screw. Or take it out. You don't have to though. And then this should pull off. When you put this back together, this screw that you removed from here that sticks through the sides, this screw should engage into that hole. What I want you to notice here is that lip. You see how much of that lip is there. When you put it up to the next one, it may be hard to tell it in that video, but that one is way smaller of a lip than that one from the wear. So the solution to that is to install the new shaft into the unit. In the kit with this new coupler, they give you a washer. That'll just slide over the end, just like that. You'll slide that new coupler on, remembering that this will line up with this hole. Now if you're using a drill, do this part by hand, because if you don't have that lined up, you will mess up that tube. And then we'll retighten our clamping in. Now if we've done everything right, that shaft shouldn't come out. So now, that shaft is, is held in like it should be. And also another problem that we fixed by replacing that is that we have took the extra play out of that shaft. So as you can see, that wasn't a very hard job with the proper tools, everything to work with and all the parts there. This should be about a five minute repair job. I appreciate you joining me.